Peace and blessings, everyone. This video is dealing with uh, an issue I've been having here on a YouTube issue. As you know, I made a couple of videos uh, in response to videos that the brother Sodnetter7 uh, has put up. In response and, you know, my, uh, my take on uh, what he's put forth. And one of the the main points of contention, if you will, one of the main issues I take up with the brother is his constant teaching or preaching of the white man being our number one enemy, being a black man's number one enemy. Um, for one, because it's an all-encompassing statement. Uh, I mean, he believes like the entire race of white people are an enemy, and you know, it's like he does not admit to the truth of the fact that there have been whites throughout all history who have fought and died for the cause of the black man uh, to fight against our oppression. Um, and he doesn't speak the truth. It's like he just, he's focused on hate. And, and it's funny because he, he starts most of the videos with hating is a disease. And I even asked him, you know, are you talking about hate in totality? You know, the, the very nature of hate is a disease? Or is it just when black people are go against other black people and appears they're hating, you know, when they're questioning. As in, you know, when I question, you know, what he's put forth, when I go against what he, he's putting out, you know, I'm hating, you know. I'm doing it just for the fact, just for the sake of hating, just for the sake of trying to put down another black man. You know, it's not that I'm speaking to the truth. It's not that I'm speaking through love. And it's not that I'm speaking through uh, unequal belief. It's just that I want to hate on him. I want to put him down just just because of sake, just to bring him down because he's a black man. You know, that that crab in a barrel um, analogy. And uh, it's just so farther from the truth. Like I said, I have to speak the truth. Um, and his brother isn't. And like I said, when... When he when he speaks that the the I mean he's seeing the entire race because he has even he has a video up, um, and he shows there's this uh this white guy and he's from I don't know he's like he's from Russia or somewhere like that Germany somewhere he's from overseas and he's there in Harlem and he's trying to give out this uh like this little uh newsletter this little newspaper and is actually speaking to the plight. Uh, the African American person um, it has statistics on, you know, about a I think it's like unemployment and disease or whatever things of that nature. And so he's doing it, you know, to bring awareness to our plight. And and the brother Sarnetter goes at him the whole video, you know, tell him that uh, he's a devil and this and that. And he has no respect or appreciation for what this white man is trying to do. To help us. I mean, how many of the black people are there in the community bringing up, passing out information on the plight of the African American with the statistics? Um, and so it's, it's like, it, 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 it amazes me because I just wonder how he can function fully within a society. Because me, I live in the suburbs. I'm around majority right. Of white people so of course for me there's no way that I could function within my neighborhood with that mindset of the white man is my enemy so maybe that's maybe that's what the problem is for me maybe that's why I'm taking a stance I am because you know I'm I'm so confused and you know I'm caught up in a white man's world um, but and that could be it but I don't believe that's it Maybe it's because that at one time my father was married to a white woman, uh, and I've had white friends, had a white best friends, so I am just lost and confused. 
Maybe the truth is that. But I don't believe it is. Because, I mean, we have a couple issues here. Um, we have the aspect of people believing that the white man is a defective offspring of black people. We had a thought that the white man as a race is a devil. I mean, can they show and prove this? You know, for all the doctrine that they can put out of that somebody said, you know, the mathematics that's, that's supposedly out there, all it is, is is words on a page. All it is talk. There is no proof of of uh, some scientist making a white man. There's there is no proof of the white man being this entity of the devil. Once again, you're you're saying that in essence, this entity, the devil, exists, and he exists within a whole of the white the white person, the white race. If that if there is a race, um, now we can we can see scientifically. I guess I guess it's been proven that. Uh, the white race has to descend from the black race, you know, being that life began in Africa. And being started in Af Africa, um, we would have been of a dark skin uh, to survive, you know, in the sun or whatnot, um, have melanin. And that as we spread out across the globe, and we went to colder places and went into caves and things of that nature that we changed and we morphed and we became a lighter skin and things of that nature. And, but I don't think you can do anything beyond that. And that doesn't prove to a person being evil. That's just evolution. Well, if you believe in evolution, if you don't, it's just, I don't see the benefit of the hate. And that's why I see it as I hate. And I definitely see the benefit of not staying in truth. And you're not staying in absolute truth, brother. You're not. You're not because you haven't come forth. All you do is, is spew the hate. Just like just like the, the, the white races who are constantly here telling me that, you know, niggers are nothing but monkeys and and stupid and ain't never done nothing and this and that. I mean, you're on the, you're on the same level. Y'all might as well work together. Um, like I said, it's the aspect of saying that there's an entity of this devil and he is brought to form in his white race. I mean, like I said, there, there is no appreciation, no acknowledgement of those who have, have fought for us. Uh, in his last video, and I told him this, this was the last I was going to even bring up, I replied. And I, you know, he, he happened to bring up Harriet Tubman. And I replied, well... He said, you know, what happened if we talked to the spirit of Herod Tumman? And he was saying it, uh, as, you know, in a way that, you know, Herod would speak to how the white man is the devil. Well, as I put up, you know, and I, I replied, and I got plenty of thumbs down. Once again, I got thumbs down, but nobody speaks the truth of what I said. And I said, well, if he spoke to the spirit of Herod, she would tell you how so many conductors would, were white. And then actually I put up another comment and I don't know what happened up there. Um, I had to add on because I ran out of you know room that that she might even introduce you to John Brown. And I hope y'all know who John Brown is. If you don't, look him up. So if she wasn't ha hating on an entire race, race of white people, then how can you? How can you be above those who have fought in the past who fought along with white people? I mean, it just... It's just it's too much hate, and then not enough truth. Um, and then I, I tried to reply to somebody who replied to my comment on this video, and I couldn't get anything through. I know sometimes it's because you know you get t characters in there, special characters calls, and you can and usually you know if you just do like type in test and then send that, you can see that it's a problem with you know which I put up. But even just that, just those four letters test won't go through. So I wonder if the brother will block me. And it, it makes no sense to block me because I haven't disrespected him. I've challenged him for the truth of his statements of that he puts forth. Um, so, you know, that'll question how what he's doing, if he's supposed to have love for me, you know, his brother, then why would he do that? Once again, I don't know if he did, maybe just something's going wrong. 